Welcome back to Pokemon News of the Week, tonight's headlines. Pokemon Classic finally gets a release window in English. The special EX Charizard Blastoise and Venusaur deck is announced. Nether Van Gogh promo Pikachu card? All that and more in Pokemon News of the Week. Welcome back everyone to Pokemon News of the Week. My name is Bob and here are tonight's headlines and today we've got a couple of interesting things to talk about. Firstly, I do want to apologise that last week we didn't have a news. There was a lot of stuff going on and I was unbelievably busy so we didn't have anything come out. But since then there have been quite a few announcements and today we're going to kick things off by looking at the special EX deck that is going to be dropping in Japan on November 10th. Basically this is a special EX3 deck set starring the Charizard, Blastoise and Venusaur cards that look fantastic. And this set has been announced officially as of a couple of days ago, but basically we knew that this was coming for a little while as a rumor. I think there was a trademark put in and finally we actually have a release window. These are pretty cool because basically with the three decks you can play with your friends, you can play together and this is going to be coming out at 5,500 yen in Japan and like I say it's going to be coming out on November 10th so if you're in Japan at the time get your hands on it. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. I'm going to assume that there's a playmat and that there's also a few other goodies. It's going to be a lot like the Rayquaza and Charizard set that we opened up on the channel a little while back. You can see kind of down here it's just hidden around around here somewhere so we have opened that up too but anyway this is pretty cool but one big headline talking about an announcement that actually happened recently overseas Pokemon Classic finally got some information and the biggest worst information this is 400 bucks just let that sink in for a little while that is 400 US dollars I don't know what it is in pounds because I haven't actually checked the UK site that's a lot of money. In Japanese yen, that's looking at about 60,000 yen. And you can almost buy two, two of the Japanese Pokemon Classic that's releasing in Japan. Now the difference is the Pokemon Classic in Japan was won only through a lottery and there were two waves. Wave one that came that's coming out later next month. So that's actually coming out in October. And then wave two that's gonna be coming out in March. But that was why it makes it a little bit more difficult to get. The English one is more expensive and anyone can buy it. Why? I mean, some of these cards in this set, they actually showed up a couple like the Blastoise, Charizard and the Venusaur and even the Professor Oak card. And they look so plain and so boring. Just look at the Japanese cards and look how different they look. The Japanese one is definitely at a higher standard than the English one. But already, of course, scalpers have been putting these up for ridiculous prices online. And I saw someone posting on eBay that, not in eBay, on Reddit, that someone has posted on eBay one of these going for about, I think it was a thousand bucks or two thousand bucks, which is ridiculous. And there, some people were saying it was just a joke. But all jokes aside, people are doing this regardless. And I don't think even average people who just collect the cards for their collection are going to want to buy that for $400. That's a lot of money. So, yeah, I don't know what their tactic is here, whether they're trying to get just a few big sales so they can get some money, but it's not like the Pokemon company's hurting. They're making damn good sales right now. Now, on the news with Pokemon Classic 2, I do want to actually highlight the size of this box is big. And on the Japanese Pokemon card channel, they actually showed some of the size comparisons. And the best one was actually the gold box for the 25th anniversary. It's bigger than three of those. So that is going to be a chunky, beefy box. Now, keeping on the topic of Pokemon cards, we actually got a leaked art rare for the next coming set, which is going to be the Future Flash set. And it's basically this Iron Bundle card. What happened? Someone posted on Reddit saying that they bought a Pokemon 151 ETB expecting to get the Snorlax promo rare, but they actually got this art rare. And there's so many questions because I'm guessing they bought it in English, but it came with a German card and there was clearly a mix up. So I'm going to guess that this is going to be an art rare that's coming out in the future flash set or possibly the ancient raw set in Japanese. But this was kind of interesting and I just wanted to briefly talk about it for a few seconds. So yeah, that's that. But one of our big headlines today is to talk about some Van Gogh art and some Pokemon Van Gogh art because there was some cool stuff announced. 
basically what's happening right now there's a museum in Amsterdam showing off a lot of cool Van Gogh stuff and they've partnered up with the Pokemon company to show some Pokemon stuff in the style of Van Gogh and these look so damn cool there's a couple of Pokemon I'll just put a few up here but the ones that kind of stand out a little bit are the Eevee because this looks really really cute and also the Pikachu and this Pikachu is interesting for a couple of reasons firstly it's cute as hell it looks adorable but also what happens is or what's happening is if you go to the Van Gogh Museum and you buy any of the goods because there's a lot a lot of cool goods you get a free promo card and of course we don't live in a sane world anymore so scalpers went out in thousands and they went to try and get as many of those cards as they could and boy oh boy did they make a mess I don't know if I can put any video up here, but basically people were just pulling stuff off of shelves to try and get as many promos as they can. And of course, these went straight up on eBay. Here are some of the listings that I found and some of the prices, but whoa, this is ridiculous. And it's such a shame that this is the world we're living in, but that is the reality, unfortunately. So all we can do is complain and just be sad. But the good news is for the Pokemon Center Canada, America, and also the UK, they're going to have this Van Gogh card as a promo with some certain items or some amount of shopping that you do online. So probably these are going to sell out quite quickly, but if you're wanting to get them, do your shopping quickly. By the time this video goes up, they might even be gone. But yeah, this is a beautiful promo card and it's just unfortunate the scalpers basically raided the shop. And the interesting part too is that that museum, they know how to change their policy so that each ticket holder to go into the store can only buy maximum one of each item per person, which is kind of fair, right? But anyway, interesting, lots of cool stuff and a beautiful, beautiful promo card, which actually didn't end up being that some flora, but anyway. And on the topic of resellers, the Gelato Peak stuff came out and basically sold out in less than one hour. That's right, these clothes, which I actually found out after my video from a couple weeks ago, are quite a big brand. These clothes sold out almost immediately. And it's just... I understand people are trying to make a quick buck, but for people that actually want to get these clothes and people that actually want to enjoy Pokemon, it sucks so much. And I don't want to sound like I'm just complaining and trying to whine about everything, but come on, this is just ridiculous. And I'm going to hope that there will be a print run or a kind of like made to order run for these items, because I think resellers really need to start feeling the pressure of the Pokemon company caring a little bit more and trying to actually make stuff for people that want it. So my fingers are crossed that these will be made to order for those that want to get them. But on some good news, the Project Voltage, which is the Hatsune Miku and Pokemon collaboration that's going on, is in its last week of beautiful art. And this week was no exception from the art. In the previous week, I know I didn't do a news video, uh, there were a couple of beautiful art pieces, so I'm just going to put those up here. But I'll go through the four that came out this week. First of all, there is the Obstagoon and Miku. This is very cool and actually kind of elegant. It's... yeah, I don't know what it is. It's very pretty and very soft which is odd to say for obstagoon day 16 was with jirachi and this is so cool i just love that style on that miku that's such a cool design it's just yeah wow it's beautiful day 17 was miku and surfetched i'm not the biggest fan of surfetched it's an interesting pokemon i don't think farfetch needed an evolution but anyway this was cool and again nice miku miku is always good but day 18 was with Miraidon, and this is beautiful. Oh my God, just look how pretty this looks. It's, oh my God, it's stunning. But basically that is the full 18 days of the beautiful art with the Pokemon. And what's gonna happen from now, from I believe it's September 29th, so that's actually the day I'm filming, sorry to date this video. They're gonna have the first music video going up on YouTube with Pokemon Music and Hatsune Miku. And this is done by Deco27. They're a very famous musician for Hatsune Miku. They've done a lot of famous songs. But if you haven't seen this video, go check it out because in the next couple of weeks, I believe there's going to be 18 videos, which is so cool. That's like an entire album of Pokemon and Hatsune Miku music. So from now on, we're gonna be talking a little bit about these. But anyway, this has been such a cool thing. And I hope that the Pokemon company does a lot more collaboration things with big things like this. 
And to finish up today's news, of course, I want to talk about my card of the week. And this week, I'm going to talk about a special card because there is only one of them in the entire world. And the reason I'm doing this is because it's my last time with this background. After this, I'm going to be moving house, so you're going to have a different background. But today, my card of the week is the very limited run Bob card. That's right. This is my Pokemon card. And this is so cool. One of my friends is an artist. Her name is Rinx. That's her art handle. She does fantastic art. And this is just so beautiful. It was my birthday a couple of weeks ago and she made this up as a birthday present. And oh my God, I love this so much. Just the Mischievous and the Gardevoir and the Frostlass. It just, it feels like the, the, the Mischievous is sitting on my shoulder happily. And like the Gardevoir is kind of like telling off Frostlass and Frostlass is cutely laughing. I love everything about this. And the best part, she actually printed it as a physical card. So on the back, there's the Pokemon and on the other side, there's me. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. It really is. This is so, so cool. So very, very happy with this. Oh, it's beautiful. So that is my card of the week. So everyone, that's everything for Pokemon news this week. And before we finish, I do have a couple of things to talk about. Firstly, I'm going to be moving, so this is all going to be changing. So I'm hoping that I can continue doing some more news videos. We might have a bit of a plain background behind us for a little bit, but basically there is still going to be content coming. And in addition to that, talking about content, I'm actually going to England for a couple of weeks. So I'm trying to work out, can I film and just edit on my phone? I might even just do a walking around kind of vlog style thing, talking about news things with occasional pictures popping up, not as professionally edited as now, but there will be hopefully, hopefully some stuff coming if I can find time while I'm on vacation. But guys, there is a ton of stuff coming and it's kind of crazy because there's so many things that I've been editing and getting ready and kind of preparing, especially now that we're almost approaching 10,000 subscribers kind of quicker than I expected. There's giveaway stuff I need to do. There's live streams I want to plan. There's just so much stuff coming. So make sure that you like the video. Make sure that you are subscribed. And I will look forward to seeing you very, very soon for more Pokemon news of the week. But seriously, thank you all so much for tuning in. You guys coming to watch these videos means more than you can imagine to me. So thank you once again from the bottom of my heart.